Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome to 2021. I'm so happy you joined me here on the Valder BB show. You know, I had a phenomenal year in 2020. I, I don't go with it wasn't a good year. We made it through. So my commitment to give you the best people in 2021 continues. And today I'm going to start off with Jim Glassman. He's going to tell us about the annual J.P. Morgan Chase Business Leader Outlook Survey. And he's going to give us some hope and some optimism. Jim Glassman, welcome to the Valder BB Show in 2021. Thank you. Nice to be here. Okay. I'm so excited to talk with you because, you know, there's a lot going uh, along with small businesses, the economy. Yeah. I know it's, it, it, it's going to get better. Let's, let's help my audience see that it's going to get better. You know, undoubtedly, you know, 2020 was a challenging year and I'm not negating this. Yeah. How were the business leaders feeling in the survey uh, that you, JP Morgan created in, for 2021? What was their outlook? You know, they're hopeful as many of us are because you know why? Uh, it was a challenging year, as you said, and really the small business community bore the brunt of a lot of the lockdowns, all the upheaval that was going on. And I think, uh, when, so when you ask business leaders how they feel about 2021, they're pretty hopeful. And actually three quarters of them are optimistic about their own situation. And I don't think it's a mystery why. I think all of us are becoming more hopeful. And why is that? Because the fundamental problem we've been dealing with in 2020 is the pandemic. And we had to close down restaurants, bars, fitness centers, stadiums, because we needed to manage the burden on our hospitals. So we know, we have always known that we couldn't get past this until we could get a medical answer. Now, really around Thanksgiving, Christmas, we have a medical answer. We've got two vaccines, maybe three, and there's more coming. And they seem to be pretty effective. And so it's just a matter of time before we get enough people vaccinated that we can start to breathe a little easier and let people go back to restaurants and bars and fitness centers. And that's the key, that's the key reason. These guys know that. Businesses have been dealing with this. Uh, they're survivors. And I think for the first time, you know, honestly, in my career, the 2021 outlook, the year ahead, uh, looks a lot clearer to me than normally. Normally, there's a lot of uncertainty. And of course, there's a lot of uncertainty that businesses are dealing with now because we don't quite know when we're going to get to that point where we can lift the restrictions. But I really think we know, we know what the answer is. We know what's on the way. And there's a reason to be hopeful. And by the way, um, small businesses in particular, that we've had a lot of help from Washington. Um, helping small businesses, helping people who are furloughed, compensating them for lost wages. And a lot of businesses who are nimble have figured out how to survive by shifting to electronic commerce, digital platforms. So honestly, when I, when I see survey responses that say business leaders are pretty optimistic, uh, they're hopeful about what's coming, I really think it's not a mystery why that's so. And I, I really think this is a much better year shaping up than what we've been through. Let me ask you this. I'm on multiple platforms, so I'm going to take this one from Instagram. It's a question from one of the listeners and viewers. They want to know why is there such a disconnect between the stock market and the economy for us as regular people? Well, you know, I think the thing to remember is who is the stock market? It's you and me, all of us. And when you're in the stock market, you have to ask yourself, what is the future going to look like? Uh, where are we going to be? And we're closing the chapter on a, on a really difficult period. And we've got vaccines that are going to solve, we think, the pandemic problem. And we've got a lot of help from Washington that's coming through. So you're, if you're in the equity market, it's perfectly rational for you to sit here when you think about all that's going on and you, and you think about what has been the problem, what has been the challenge. We now have a medical answer for something that's been very difficult. So to me, as, a, as an economist watching what's going on in the equity market, I don't find it all that inconsistent that in the market where people think hard about where we're going and ask themselves where we're going, we, we hear the same, we get the same thought process that, that's going on in the business community. So what's going on today? I mean, we're all hopeful it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be better. We think it's going to be better. 
And uh, what really matters for the equity market is where are we going to be, you know, later this year, uh, next year. And frankly, this is a important story that's been evolving for not just last year, but really for many years, we've seen the equity market rising steadily. And I think it's telling you, I think the market's telling you there's something really fundamentally positive going on in our economy, in the global economy, um, that, that, that reflects a lot of things. Um, it's, it's complicated, but it's a lot of things very favorable. So it's, it's a natural thing to see equity markets trying to stay focused on the future. Of course, nobody knows the future, but there are a lot of things that uh, you can lean on that tell you that there's reason to be optimistic about what's coming. All right. I want my audience to know that Jim Glassman is a managing director and head economist for commercial banking. Jim, I'm going to finally, I'm going to ask you, what can you tell us about the outlook for jobs in 2021 that the survey revealed to you? You know, of course, the outlook for jobs is connected to the success in getting the vaccine out there and getting control of the pandemic. Because if we can bring the rate of infection down, we can start to lift restrictions on restaurants, bars, fitness centers, stadiums, um, orchestras, places where people gather. So obviously, um, if we can lift those restrictions, then everyone's going to be able to go back to work. And I think um, in, in those communities. So I think uh, it's positive. I think if you believe that the vaccination process is going to get a grip on the pandemic, then the, by the end of this year, I really think we're going to be feeling a whole lot better about the job market. We've already seen tremendous progress. The job market has recovered very strikingly. Since, really since May, employment's been improving. Unemployment's been coming down. Number of people unemployed is coming down very slowly. We've made a lot of progress, and I don't think it takes a lot of imagination to see that very shortly, maybe by the end of the year, maybe early next year, we'll have the labor market unemployment back down to where it was before we came into this crisis. Jim, you've been a very bright outlook for my audience and me also too. Can you tell me sure. online, can we find these survey results? Because there's much more in the survey, I know. Yes, uh, you can find a lot more detail than I covered. Um, if you go online and you go to jpmorgan.com, forward slash business leaders outlook. You can get a lot more detail. Jim Glassman, thank you so very much for helping me uh, take my audience forward in 2021. Your views are so in line with the Bounder BB show. Thank you very much. Right. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Bounder BB. I host the Bounder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.